today's video as you can tell from the title is going to be a DIY room decor video and I feel like I haven't done one of these in a very long time so I'm very excited and all the things that I came up with in this video are really inexpensive and really easy to recreate so I hope you guys like them there's like a little sneak peek behind me but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel because We'd love to have you here if you'd like to. And of course, turn on notifications if you haven't done so already. All you have to do is click the little bell beside the subscribe button and that'll notify you every time I post a video, which is so awesome. And of course, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up because that helps out this video and my channel. So yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. I love you all. And let's go ahead and jump into the video. Starting off with the DIY coasters, you are going to need some paper, any type of paper is going to work just fine, and then some wooden coasters. I got mine at Michael's in a package of four, which was perfect, and this paper actually had fun sayings on it, which is perfect because they came in like squares, so I just went ahead and traced the coasters on the back of the paper and then cut them out. As you guys saw, I tried using my paper cutter, but I found that just cutting them straight out with some scissors was the easiest way and not all of them line up, but I'm okay with a little of the bare wood showing just because I kind of like that look. Once I had all four pieces of paper cut out, I went ahead and grabbed my Mod Podge and a paintbrush and I just put a layer of that onto the wooden coaster and then I pressed down the paper making sure there's no bubbles and I just went ahead and let that dry for about 30 minutes. Once the first layer of Mod Podge had completely dried, I went in with a second layer on top to really seal in the paper and just make sure everything was locked and good to go. And it also just gives a nice finish. And of course, if you are using this for coasters, it's just nice to have a little bit of a barrier on there in case something does spill. Other than that, that pretty well completes our DIY coasters. I really love how these turned out. They're so simple to make, but you can use them in your bedroom or on your desk or on your coffee table. They're so versatile and you can really make them your own and use any paper you want to make them fit your room decor. Moving on to the next DIY for this really cute memory pin board type thing. You're going to want to start off with a plaque, just a wooden one I got at the dollar store, and some clothes pins, and then go ahead and hot glue those down. You can do them in whatever order you want, and I did three just because I think it looked really nice and even. My original plan for this was to just quickly spray paint it because that would have been a lot easier, but I found out that I ran out of my copper spray paint, which is a sad moment in my life. But Nonetheless, I have copper paint, so I just went ahead with a paintbrush and some regular paint and just went to town on it, making sure it was all covered. I only did one coat, it seemed to do quite fine, and the color was really opaque, so go ahead and paint this whatever color you want to match your room or your aesthetic, if you will. To hang this on the wall, I went ahead and grabbed this little wire thing that I found. I don't even know what it is, but I just found it randomly, and I'm just hot gluing that to the back of the plaque just because it made it easier. You can, of course, do this with string or twine, whatever you want, or you can just, you know, glue a clasp. You guys get the point. You're going to want to be able to hang it, so make sure you have something that'll do that. Following that, to decorate, I took my Sharpie paint pen in white just to decorate, and the only thing I could think of was good times, and so if you want to recreate this, I highly suggest thinking of something else. I mean, it's not the worst saying in the world, but like, come on, I could, probably could have done better. So yeah, just went ahead and wrote that saying out, and then I also drew little hearts on the clothespins, and then you can go ahead and put in some pictures. Of course, I'm using Polaroids because that's what I have, but you guys can print off pictures from the internet or whatever you want. And this would make a really cute gift for Mother's Day or even just for a friend for a birthday. You can add something really special and it's really customizable. Once you have the pictures hung in there, you can go ahead and hang the whole piece up on the wall. And I just really like this one because I think it's really nice that it's interchangeable as the seasons come or you take new pictures, you can always just swap them out. Moving 
Moving on to the final DIY, you are going to need a pegboard, assorted fake flowers, duct tape, and a noodle. Just kidding. You need everything else except for the cap. But he really liked the pegboard, so I let him sit there for a while. Okay, so you're going to want to get a pegboard from Home Depot. Mine was about like $8. It was so inexpensive and it's pretty big. And then just go to your dollar store and get a bunch of fake flowers in assortment sizes and colors. First thing you're going to want to do is lay out all the flowers on the pegboard to see where you want to place them all. Make sure you put some upside down and kind of angle some and also just spread them out so they look a little bit bigger and fluffier. Then just taking any color duct tape you want, go ahead and cut up some strips. I just kind of cut mine smaller, but you can also cut them lengthways and go ahead and tape your flowers down. And a little fun fact for you guys about the inspiration for this DIY, I was actually in a cafe in Auckland, New Zealand when we were traveling and it was called Hello Friends and Allies and in their back room they actually had a massive pegboard with a bunch of flowers like this taped up and I thought it was so cute so I wanted to recreate it and do kind of like a mini version. So yeah, that is where I got the inspiration for this. I think it's so cute and perfect for spring. This is amazing for like backdrops if you guys want to take cute Instagrams or just want to add some color to your room. DIY out of the three you like the best because I'm very curious and I love reading your guys's comments and of course if you haven't already checked out my Twitter Instagram or snapchat I will have all my links down below you guys can go follow me I would really appreciate you for it and of course I will have previous videos linked on the screen right now so you guys can go check out some more videos if you'd like to I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video have a great day bye